Well guys, it's nighttime, but it's fine. Because we did a few things and I want to explain what we've done and show you take a little test ride because one of the things we did was we put a light on this thing. And you can see here we've got this awesome little LED bar that's gonna help us out a lot because I want to ride this thing at all hours. This thing is so fun. Another thing we did was we mounted the uh, phone because we're using the kilowatt app. Let me show you here. So we mounted the phone right here and uh, you can see here the kilowatt app turns on with the key. So I got the key here that turns on the, the, the cart. So now this is connected to the cart. Another thing we did was we mounted our, we got our, our switches here for uh, EP and Sport. So we got Sport and EP. And then also I hooked up the horn button as reverse. So you hold the reverse, you hold the horn button and it gives you a reverse. And you can see the indication right here. There's reverse. And you can see now we back up and then take my hand off of it and we go forward. So let's take this for a little spin now uh, and see how everything looks. I love how this dash is nice and secure here on this side so we can see everything. Um, and we'll turn on the lights here as we get out in the dark so you can see. Boom, now we can see everything. And this allows us now to drive this thing at night. I love it. It's quiet, it's not disturbing anybody on the farm here. The horses don't care, it doesn't affect them. The dogs are just in love with this thing. As you can see, they chase me everywhere while I'm driving this, which is fun. I don't want to hurt them, so I won't go too fast. I don't want them to accidentally run out in front of me. But uh, you can see the kilowatt app measuring everything really easily. And uh, I mean, this thing's a blast. No problem driving it at night. And then now I can back this thing in. Oh my God, this is such a relief being able to do this. It's so much better being able to reverse into the garage. I'll tell you that right now. It makes a huge difference. Just like that. Boom, we're in. So let me know what you guys think of that. That's, in my opinion, that's a game changer. Lights off, power down, just like that. So cool. Carla took it for a ride. <laughs> what do you think? It's crazy. It was awesome. It's good, right? It was so much fun. Carla called yeah. it like a Tesla car. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like an old Tesla. It was so fun. Yeah. So, it I'm has gonna, some I'm power. Gonna, yeah. It's yeah. like, yeah. You do it in, in the yeah. key mode. Yeah. I'm going I'm to turn it around, bring it back in, put it in sport mode, and I'm going to punch <laughs> it. <laughs> Yep, ready. Here we go. <laughs> it did a mini, mini oh. burnout. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, the reverse is the best thing. Being able to reverse this thing is like, the, it completely changes the game. That's all I gotta say about that. All right guys, so we're out here test driving the electric cycle cart now. We're gonna see how this handles everything. We're in EP mode right now. And uh, everything seems to be working really well. As you know in the previous uh, clip, you can see we're using the kilowatt app. It works really nice, it shows power consumed and speed and everything. This is GPS calibrated as well. You can actually switch between GPS and RPM speed, derived speed. So I calibrated it using GPS so it reads accurate. So uh, that's the speed, it's really cool. So 
So uh, what we'll do is get out here on a clean stretch if we can. And, uh, and we'll make a run and see what kind of speed this thing's able to get. Because I think it's going to do pretty good. We got a little short stretch here. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to put this into uh, sport mode. Okay, and let's see what kind of speeds we can get. I'm really curious. What do you guys think it's going to do? I'm just going to ease up here. And uh, roll into it. Impressive, holy moly. I saw 62 miles an hour there. And it will definitely definitely go a little faster. Let's see, let's use this road up here and see what happens, huh? Wow, Six, what you say, 65 here was the stored speed. We, I saw 66 on the dash, but 65 miles per hour, solid. That is way faster than <laughs> I expected this thing to go. As you can see, it was 14 and a half kilowatts uh, using there, that's sport mode. So, I mean, this is, this, this thing is as fast Acceleration wise, I think it's actually faster. We'll have to do a race between this and the uh, and the gas cart because I mean It's pretty close. I think 65 miles an hour is what we did in the other one as well uh, and, and this one got there fairly quick so um, Wow, and that's with about a half battery you can see actually a little more than a half 76.6 volts so like a we'll call it a two-thirds battery uh, you know, I mean, I'm over the moon on that. Not using any field weakening or anything crazy, no tricks. That is just what this thing is able to do. If I turn the field weakening up, I, I think it'll go over 70. It does not feel very stable, though. <laughs> not going to lie. It's okay up to about 60. Over 60 was, uh, was asking for it. <clears throat> so anyway, we're going to head back now, but that was impressive. 65, 66 miles an hour. Let me know what you guys think about that. Woo. I know what I think. I think I need to sit down for a little bit. All right, so we're back from the first official test ride, I'm going to call it. Uh, we went out on the road and we're able to get some real numbers out of it and see what it does. Everything worked swimmingly. Stayed together. The setup is good. The chain nice no problems everything seems to be working well the brakes were a little iffy at those speeds so i'd say that's probably something i'm going to look into maybe a more aggressive set of pads or something because i was using quite a bit of force to slow us down once we were trying to really slow down um but outside of that i would say this is a flawless test so 66 miles per hour gps verified this is this is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I, I mean, I'm 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 really excited about this. Honestly, uh, yeah, I don't see too many people going at the speeds that we do on these cycle carts. So to have two cycle carts now over 65 miles per hour, as you guys may have seen in the other video, we had the uh, the number three cart, the Bardall Special, 
That one is still a gas engine and that one did 65 miles per hour. Both of them doing 65 miles an hour. Both of them doing over 60 is really a huge, huge feat in itself. So uh, electric conversion, again, this is a five rated, I think they rate these motors at five or six kilowatts. This is the older Suron motor. So it's rated uh, as, as like a six, seven horsepower motor. And we're obviously exceeding that because we're, we're, we're pushing a 72 volt battery through it and making it work a little harder. But temperatures are fine. It's not, it's warm. It's not hot after those extended pulls. Uh, I saw controller temperatures hovering around 109 degrees, 108 degrees, and the motor temperatures were hovering around 60 or 70 C. So uh, it's not really that hot at all. Uh, and it could probably handle some field weakening. With field weakening, we could add more top speed to this. Absolutely. But I don't think I'm going to do that uh, without thinking this whole drivetrain through a little bit more seriously because at those speeds, we are definitely playing with fire. These carts were never designed to go that fast, and, and, and they shouldn't without careful consideration. I have gone through this thing already enough to the point where I felt confident to do that. Uh, but much more than this, no, definitely not. We need to, to, to rethink the, the handling package on this. It's very twer twitchy at those speeds. And, uh, uh, you know, maybe add some tow, uh, go with a, a little bit more sturdy wheel, things like that. But so far, so good. I'm really happy with this setup. And uh, I'm really curious to know what you guys think. So leave a comment, let's chat, and I will definitely see you guys in the next one because this thing is so much fun. I think I'm gonna stage a race between this number 26 car and the number three Bardall. Let's see, what do you guys think? The electric car feels faster. I'm gonna be honest, it feels faster. And maybe it is. So maybe we'll put a lighter rider or lighter driver in the Vardal and just see what these two can do against each other in the next one. And I will see you guys there.